Hi, I'm Emily Artful, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I paint skeletal figures. So today we're looking at a female pelvis. I have the sketch here. What I'm going to be doing right now is my sketch is ready to be painted. It's been transferred onto watercolor paper, but I've used a very soft leaded pencil to trace my sketch onto this paper. And usually with watercolors, they, they tell you that's a no-no, you don't wanna do that. But the reason I do it is because it's a lot easier to erase and a lot easier to pull up than a harder leaded pencil. So what I did is I laid down my sketch. I'm going to take my kneaded eraser here and I'm going to pull up the excess graphite. Now to get started on my pelvis piece here, go ahead and pre-wet my Arteza watercolors. You have to pre-wet your watercolors. You've got to kind of wait for that water to permeate and get all that goodness brought up to the surface so that it's ready for your paintbrush to pick up. Create my base color here, and what I'm doing is I'm laying that pigment down, mixing my colors. Since I'm laying down a large wash of color, I go in by clean water, no pigment on the brush, lay the water down first. Try not to oversaturate it, or you'll have to be pulling up water later. And I'm just working in sections here. So see, we kind of have like a little bit of a gradient going here. I'm gonna go back in with my heat gun, I'm gonna go ahead and fully dry that first layer of paint. The way to know that the paint that you've laid down is nice and dry, the color of the pigment has lightened significantly. If there is no sheen on the paper, and obviously if it's dry to the touch. I'm gonna use my heat gun to go in and dry the rest of this. So now I'm going to lay down the base layer for this painted lady butterfly. Painted ladies are kind of a, a dusty orange. I'm okay going over some of these details because this is the lightest color and all the darker colors on. The painted lady are going to be browns and blacks. Let's dry our painted lady. Now we're gonna start working with our first layer of shading. And I'm gonna make this fairly straightforward. So I'm going to go in and mix a darker version of our base color. I'm laying down this pigment and I need it to stay wet here because then I'm gonna clean my brush and with a very mildly wet brush, come in and I'm going to drag my colors down. And don't just stop there, make sure you're pulling that water and kind of drawing your brush as you're going because that's gonna create a nice gradient. You wanna use the shadows. When you're painting these skeletal figures, you really wanna use these shadows to highlight the angular nature of bones. I just didn't want my line art to be too stark in contrast to what I'm doing here, these nice soft watercolors, right? So I'm using my shadows instead to show you where those individual vertebrae are. That helps to really soften your, your painting and your artwork. I wanna keep this piece nice and light. So we're not gonna get too much darker than this. Probably the darkest aspect of this piece will be the line art. And even then, I wanna keep it light. Okay, so now we're going to get into the line art. Over here, I've mixed up two different line art colors. My line art at all, I'll go in, I'll lay it down first. And I might come in with a paper towel and just take some of it away. So here I want it to be lighter. I want it to get a little bit darker when we start to move down this way. Now I'm starting to move down. I'm gonna start mixing my colors. It's a really important thing to remember with watercolors always is that water is going to go where water already is. Something about using those pinkish colors with the bonds, something about that just brightens them right up. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start work on my butterfly because the pelvis is so full and detailed. I'm gonna keep the butterfly relatively simple. I kind of laid out the markings of the painted lady with my sketch here and just kind of accentuate them a little bit, the body of the butterfly. Now because I'm keeping this painting light, you don't want to actually use black draw your eye immediately to the butterfly and not in a good way. So in place of black, I'm using a very, very dusty gray, almost brown color for my base. We're gonna add our finishing touches. Just on the butterfly's wings, we're going to take some, some Arteza gouache in the color white. I only need a very small amount, so we're gonna add some white details. One to each eye, and then we're gonna pull back, and we're done. I'm Emily Artful, and this has been how I create a painting from start to finish.